Okay, CD 787 engine install day. The engine's airborne now. So now, I'm just going to do a little switcheroo. Guess I'll get this up to the height that we want. Save out there. Alright, so we got a few hoses here and there. But there's one on the front, at, sorry, at the back and the bottom. That I'd like to get hooked on. Get a zip tie on it. And that's on. It kind of slipped on a bit easy. And I'm wondering if I shouldn't clip that just a little bit. Stuff is tight. Huh. See if that pushes on. Oh, not really. Okay, let me get that hooked up. Okay, had a bit of a challenge with that one. Didn't want to fit next with the zip tie, so I went the extra mile and put a pipe clamp or a hose clamp on it. sits on an angle. Pretty sure we can manhandle this thing from here. I think so. Okay, so moving on here. I mean, you just don't know the line from the filter. Got another line here. So this one definitely goes above the starter. This one goes into the down here again I'd love to trim this off okay where are we this guy with the filter so 
that one goes right there. So we'll get that one on next. Through there. Here we go. That seems like where she goes. Loosen that clamp up a bit. around here <laughs> don't know if you're even getting a good view or not okay that's on I haven't got the engine bolted in because if I gotta pull it out to hook something up, then no big deal. So then we got the water line here. And that should go into this guy right here. I think I'm gonna put a clamp on that too. Is that oh yeah, it is fairly long. Let me get a clamp. Push that on. Don't know if you are seeing this or not. Is that all the way on? Looks pretty good. Yeah. Okay. That's good. Now, what else do we got down here? Got some fuel injection lines. We got Let's see what else we got here. There should be another one here. Yes. Except I can't see it. Everything you're doing in a mirror goes the opposite way to what you think, too. Okay. Right there. 
right on. And then the other one is there somewhere. Got a hose here, hose here, don't know where the front one is yet. And quite a detective job to figure out where everything goes. Ray valve pipe, just put that on. And this guy says it goes to the crankcase. So let's see if we can get that on there. Come back, yeah. Yeah, it was good I left all the exhaust manifold and everything off so we can actually see. And the, the, oh, that clamp is garbage. Let me get another clamp. You gotta put a, the clamps on in a certain way. Well, you can't get the screwdriver on them. Throttle body. Throttle body time. Another rubber gasket on the bottom. Just love the jigsaw puzzle. I gotta go get one more part. Okay, I think we got her now. Gotta hold all whack of pieces. These three wires. One of these is the throttle position sensor. That seems small. These 
two connectors are exactly the same. I wonder if they both clip in. No. That clips in there perfectly. this tape that he put on here meant something to somebody uh, where's our flashlight A small one. It's not way. Small one goes up here. That's where she's going. Just can't do it one pump cable. This one looks like it's going to be hilarious too. Hit me something. Hits the clamp. So that is a problem. Okay, so I'll tighten that bad boy down, and then we'll figure out the clamp. Inspect the uh, exhaust manifold, put the gasket on, bolt this on. Permatex is pretty much toast, it's the ultra copper. Had her for a while. Uh, some of these holes are redundant, oh, it covers the whole thing though. some on the uh, engine as well. So I'll goop that all up and then I'll bring you back to see it before I put it all together. Right. So got them all gooped up. Now here's where we find out what fits, what doesn't. Mm. 
Okay. Put Loctite on all the bolts. I just use Loctite blue, not the red. The red is just impossible to get apart. Anyway, we'll pop these in, gonna switch batteries, and keep on going. Well, typical. Gotta take the uh, throttle body off again. But I can now barely. Show you. There we go. Right up in there. Now where am I? My mirror is so dirty. Let's see what's next. Next thing we're going to do is an engine alignment and bolt it down because I don't think I'm going to be able to get at those engine mounts after I put the exhaust in. So I'm having trouble putting things on and off because there's a certain sequence to putting everything together or you can't get at the bolt. So as you saw with the exhaust and the uh, throttle, uh, throttle body. Anyway. Thought so.
All right. Now let me get the bar. Oh yeah. Anyway, we've got to do some adjusting. The bolts aren't even in, so let's get that all sorted. And then I'll show you the fine tuning. 13 mil bolt. Definitely got to go up a bit. Yeah. Go with that. What I'd really like to know is what torque that's supposed to be. Close enough. Now we put the exhaust the scoop up. Doesn't make for a very easy rave maintenance if you want to do anything, does it now? Hmm. Anywho. There's a difference. Let me double check. Mm. Same, same. One bolt started and then
regrouped. Got the bolts out from under the engine. And now it's trying to get these bolts in. So far only one cut today, not too bad. Look where these bolts are. You know, what's the tool? Doesn't fit there. Doesn't fit there. Craziness. Trying to find the combination of tools. You now that fits the frost plug. Hits the frost plug. How about the manual approach? Try and get that bracket back on. There's okay. Good. Good. Okay. I hear cricket. This guy, yes, will that fit on there? Exhaust is not all the way on over here. The rubber boot. And I gotta put a clamp back on there. So let me get that bad boy all put together. Alright, battery's hooked up. I'm just gonna do a uh, crank over test. Sounds 
tune. Now, oh, spark plug in. I haven't even checked to see if I got the right cable on the throttle position. I guess I should hook that up. We don't know. She's getting closer. completely shredded and that will allow water to get into your trim and then that's the end of the trim. drive in and we'll check it for oil. Three foot pounds. So, important tip put the drive shaft in before you put the drive on. Makes all the difference in the world. You get way more speed and power. See the sleeve? Yes, sir. Is that where it's going? Mm -hmm. That's it. Now we're cooking.
Can we see in there? Yep, we got oil. more the torque is 16 foot-pounds Jesus Christ, don't want to torque that too tight. Has a nylon or a nylock nut, so we don't need to lock tighter. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. And then, what do we got here? Tiny little guy. Side did that go on? Had to go on that side. And then you can see. I don't know if that's one for the wrenches. Or, if I had a 10 mil socket going here. Steering. We'll check the tilt. Sounds good. Well, that's her all done. Ready to go out the door. Turned out good. One mistake was uh, mixing oil in with the fuel. I didn't put much, but it was enough to keep fouling spark plugs. So sucked all the gas out, put all fresh gas in, and uh, actually had to clean the fuel injectors too. And now we've got her going good. So now on to that one.